Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're playing Must Sum. And you can see Sleuth here is just going all googly eyes and just, you know, almost dazed with the number of sums that he's doing. Tons of calculations on the background there, on a blackboard, on a piece of paper. Hopefully that's not essentially a kind of a futuristic depiction of what we're going to look like after having to solve this puzzle. Let's take a look at what we have in store for us. So, today's puzzle is Must Sum by Marty Sears, and we have the following set of unusual rule sets, I'm going to say. First rule, not so unusual, normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means the digits 1 to 9 in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 box. Fairly standard. Next one, we've got each grey line is a palindrome, in that it reads the same in either direction. So, for example, if this cell was a 5, then this palindrome, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cells long, would have to have the same cell in here. This would be a 3, this could be a 3, this could be a 2. Obviously, the center digit can be whatever it wants to be. Now, the twist on today's rule set is the third rule that we have to play with today, which is the digits on each palindrome must sum to the same total which will be displayed in the yellow domino reading left to right. The cage also has this total. So essentially, the total of all of these lines, clearly not this cell as part of this palindrome, and this humongous line, yep, and this cage and all the other lines is some two-digit value that we're going to have to be able to write into these two cells. So, if you you love maths, and you, you must sum and find the total in here, hopefully the answer is 42, as is the answer for all questions in the universe. Link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So, we know this before, that this is Sudoku rules means digits 1 to 9 in every box, every 3 by 3 box, which if you sum up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you get to 45. Now, if you take away a digit, whether it's the 1 or the 9, you're going to end up with a sum that's either 30-something, a minimum of 36, and a maximum of 44, although technically 44 won't work because we need to be able to write the total up in here. That's a long way of saying that this cell is either 3 or 4, because it's either 30, 6, 7, or 8, or 9, or 41, 2, 3, or 4. Now the question is, how do we find out which one it is? So, maximums and minimums. We've got five cell in here. And we've got, I don't even know how many cells is that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cells. Clearly, a lot of them are going to be repeated, but my goodness. What does that come up to? So, the way I'm going to try this is essentially maximizing the 5 cell, minimizing the 17 cell, and hopefully coming up with the same number. So, 8, 9, 8, 9, 7. That's maximizing this palindrome. That's 17, 17, that's 34, and a 7, that's 41. So 41 is the maximum we can make five cells. Now, this ridiculous palindrome, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, actually 4, not 1, um, 1, 2, 3 again. I skipped a digit, so that's 1, 2, 3, and again a 4, another 4. And one, because that's the center. 
So yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, and then one, two, three, four. So 10, 20, 30, 40, one. We have our answer, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking for 41, not 42, on today's puzzle. 41, this can only be a 4 because we need to take away a 4 from 45 to get to 41. And in fact, all of these now are 8 nines, 8 nines, 8 nines, 8 nines, 8 nines. Sevens. One, two, three. No, actually, that's the wrong way to think about it. One, two, three, four. This was, in fact, a one. We knew that. This is one, two, three, four. Except this has to be the one. This is two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's the one. That's two, three, four. It has to be a one amongst these. No one here, which is one, two, three down. So this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three down has no ones. And in fact, neither does the fourth one. So no ones here either. We got one, two, three, four. No ones in the first one either. Second one is the one. Can I do anything else with this at this point? No. At the moment, no. Okay, five six. You can see sort of two, three, four in here, and then we've got one, seven, eight, nine. So that's another five six. That's another five six. That's the third two, three, four, which actually puts two, three, fours again, eight, nines again. Um, in fact, places seven down here and there. No eight nines. I'm gonna have, I can think about this palindrome for a second. But I'm just going to do obvious Sudoku rules. One, 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 one gives me a one in here. Have I done all the ones? Yes, now I have. Right. Five sixes, two, three, fours. There's another five, six in here. This five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's, yeah, that's the right one. That's the five, six. In fact, I've got, I'm missing a one in the middle, haven't I? That's the one. That's the second five, six. I need another five, six and a two, three, four. And I'm not sure. So this and this are the same, which means this is different. And it's different. So this cell, which is different from that, can't be in here. It's got to be in there. That's five, six. That's two, three, four. That's now five, six and seven. That's the seven. That's the five, six. You see, that's not five, six, that's two, three. Back two, three again, and that's two, three, plus whatever this cell is. So how do I get to 41? Quick test, if I maximize everything. Seven and three, that's 10, that's 20. And another 12, that's 32. And I need a nine in here, which is the maximum, 41, three, Six, six, three, two, five, six, five, um, five, six. This nine gives me this eight. This is two, four. This is a nine, and eight, a nine. These are on palindromes. I shouldn't forget that. So that's the nine, eight. Does that give me any of these? No, of course it doesn't. Um, what else do I have? I need an eight. Actually, that's not a three either. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's not a three. That's not a three. That is the three. That's the three. That's not a three. That's two, four. That's the three. That was the center. That's the three. 
These are not the centers, not the center. Maybe I'm not far off doing threes as well. Not quite. Almost not quite. Three is in here. There and there. The six, the five sixes, they were unraveling. Let's continue with these. Five, six, five, six. Do I know this? Yep, five. I need a six, which can only be in here. That's a two. That's three, seven. I actually know the order of that. Seven, three, three again. Right, let me guess the sevens, the seven. Yep, seven again. Eight, nine, that's a two. This is four. Four, well, actually, four here is helpful. Four, two, two, four. Three, one, four, four, two, four, two. Therefore, four, four. That's another eight, nine, isn't it? Therefore, that's the nine. That's the eight. That's the eight. That's the nine, the eight. That's the two. Palindrome, 8, 9, yeah. This palindrome's not unraveled yet, is it? 9, yes it is. 8, 9, 8, no, 8, 9. What do I need in here? 5. 5 again. 6. Ah, oh, this went by very quickly. Um, 5 and 6, isn't it? So, 6, 5. 2, 4, that's the 4, and if I've not made any mistakes, 2. Lovely puzzle, Marty Sears. Um, went by fairly quickly, though. Wasn't expecting it to be this approachable, let me call it that. I think sort of with these types of puzzles, whenever you come across tons of lines and kind of some anything to do with sums, the easiest thing to do... I guess for a one-star difficulty rating is to immediately try just minimums, maximums, and just test it and see if it comes together. And usually with one-star difficulty puzzles, you'll very quickly find that the minimums and the maximums match and you have your answer and then Bob's your uncle from there. I think the tricky ones, which you tend to see on some of the other channels, is when there is a bit of degree of freedom and then you're stuck trying to do all sorts of complex geometry and almost I don't know just like circus tricks to try and actually figure out which one it is but what an absolutely lovely puzzle Marty Sears I hope you, you guys have also enjoyed the puzzle and today's video and I'll see you back for the next one bye for now